So today we are going to unbox the Deluxe Valentine's Day Jeffree Star Mystery Box. I've had it for a couple days, but I just have been feeling so sick in my stomach. I don't know what the hell's going on, but today I'm just sucking it up and we're going to do it. I'm going to show you guys the premium box and kind of compare the two, see which one is the better box. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So I went ahead and peeled off my address because I just want to make sure, you know, in case I forgot to blur it. So the deluxe box came a little over a week after I purchased it. Um, the premium box came sooner. so. Apparently on their website it said that the two boxes wouldn't be shipped together. I didn't read the website you guys. I was just trying to hurry up and check out and get my boxes. So a lot of people gave me shit on the last video on that. Actually a lot of people just gave me shit. Hey, Ma. What? Am I adopted? No. Okay I'm not. <laughs> so a lot of people gave me shit about this box because well I did my review and I didn't like the colors so that's why I said people are like well you should have gotten the mystery box you know Jeffree Star has crazy colors and honestly guys I thought Valentine's Day you know th there should be like neutrals and whatnot there shouldn't be crazy colors because when I think Valentine's Day I don't think purples and greens I think you know pinks and reds and silvers and golds and white so that's kind of my thought process with the mystery box so that is why I purchased one and if I want to purchase a damn mystery box I'm gonna purchase one so many people were pissed that I purchased one and didn't like the stuff that I got but you know what I did do a giveaway for this so I think it's yeah it's until Tuesday so if you want to win this box um, you're gonna win everything in it except for one lipstick. I will link it in the description box for you guys, but let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Um, all right, oh. Okay, so it just kind of plopped out, but this is what we have. So first up, I know you guys have seen the shirt. I got a size small super cute shirt um, material is it's not like the softest material but it is a nice material and it looks like it's going to fit pretty well oh yeah this should fit nice it's a little oversized which I like um, but yeah I really like this shirt all right so I'm just going to pick stuff out uh, first thing we have posh spice so in my last video, I was opening at the wrong end. Whoops. But there's one end that doesn't have the sticker over it. So lesson learned. Uh, ooh. Okay. Okay. So here's the shade on the box. Come on, camera, focus. And here's the shade right here. So I didn't wear any lipstick because I do want to test these out for you. I don't know if I'm going to do a giveaway on these items because... I might like them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. My lips are so dry and crusty. It's definitely like a brown shade, taupey brown. Um, I would say cool tone brown, but it's different. Would I wear this out by itself? I don't know. I might put like a nude lipstick in the center, maybe a gloss on top. But I could see me wearing this like as an eyeliner or something. Definitely going to keep this. I think this is an interesting color and I don't have anything like it. So we're going to keep. Next. Oh, another pop socket. So I don't know. But I got this in the last box too. Like I said in my other um, tutorial, my case is like blue. A little bit of pink. I don't know. It's, it's cute, but I probably won't use it. I don't know if I'll give that away or what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so now we have a Supreme Frost in Frozen Peach. Ooh, I can tell I'm going to like this. Ooh, that looks really pretty. Ooh, it looks buttery. Okay, I'm going to swatch it. Um, okay, let's swatch. It's like 
kind of powdery. It's not like very smooth feeling at all. Do you guys see it? Hmm. I'm gonna try to put it on my face. And, ooh, a lot of glitter comes off. I'm just gonna tap it and we'll see what happens. I do, I think I already have a highlighter on my face, but. I mean, it's definitely there, it's pretty. For some reason it didn't show up that well on my hand, but it looks good on the cheek. So this is cute. All right, now we have, ooh, a skin frost. This is in lavender snow. Okay, another big size pan. So this compared to this, this one is so much smaller. So here's what we got. This looks like it might be a wearable shade. I'm like, do I wanna swatch it or do I wanna give it to you guys? I don't know. Because even if it doesn't look good as a highlighter, I think it would look really good as an eyeshadow. All right, I'm just gonna swatch it. Ooh. So that is like a silvery purple. Ooh, that's pretty. And, oh, that's pretty. Honestly, it does not look super purpley on my face. You guys can see it looks like we have three lipsticks and a lip liner, I think. Let's open this. Oh! Now that is fancy. That's a fancy lip pencil. Ooh. So there is that. It looks very creamy. Let's swatch it. Ooh. Ooh. That's kind of like a red. For some reason, like if you see the tip, it looks brown to me. Maybe I'm colorblind. But this is definitely red. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that a lot. I, it's not too often that I wear really bold shades, but I need to because they are so beautiful. So this is really fun. I like the design on it. Super cute. So far, I really like this box. What else we got? Um, so this is a liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Dream House. So that's what the color looks like. Oh. <laughs> so this is like a true Barbie metallic pink. Cute packaging, love the packaging. I'm not going to swatch this one because I know I will never wear it. Um, I know you guys, you can wear these on your eyes and whatnot, but personally, I would not wear this on my eyes. It's definitely a hot pink. So it's beautiful, but it's not for me. So please don't give me shit when I say I don't like a color. I don't like a color. All right, so we have a lip ammunition in the shade Jeffrey's Girl. So this is looking like maybe it's gonna be a hot pink. Oh. Ooh. That's fun. It honestly kind of looks like, no, I was gonna say it kind of looks like um, Dream House, but I think Dream House is way more like a hot pink, yeah. Here's the two next to each other. I don't think I, I don't think I would pull this off. It's not my type of shade. Um, so I think eventually I will give this away. But I love the case. It's like a little bullet. It's super cute, super chic. Last but not least, we have a liquid lipstick in the shade Diamond. Oh, so it looks like it's going to be a blue shade. Diamond. But this says shake well before use. I did not shake it well when I applied this shade, but it still turned out fine. Oh, it's like purple or is that blue? On camera, it looks blue. To me, it looks purple. Regardless, these two shades do not look anything alike. <laughs> this looks like a mint greenish blue. 
This looks like a periwinkle. I don't know why I feel like I have to keep smelling it, but I do, I'm like, <sniffs> hmm. I'm like, would I ever wear this? I think this would be fun as like an eyeliner. Um, obviously not to wear all the time, but maybe for fun looks here and there. So I like this. I think I'll hold on to this one. This one's fun and fresh. Let's just swatch it. Ooh, whoa. That is a bright periwinkle blue purple looking color. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. So out of all the items, I liked this, the peach, frozen peach. I did like the lavender snow, the um, lip pencil, the diamond lipstick, and Posh Spice. These were all a hit. Not a fan of the pinks. That's just me. Personal preference, personal opinion. We all have our opinions and that's fine. Like really good products. Um, personally, in the premium box, it just seemed like products that don't sell well. In my opinion, like, so in the premium box, I got the mint condition highlighter which is a green highlighter. I'll show you guys this one. Um, I got this Jeffrey Who, which I really like this one. This was a really beautiful red shade. So that one was good. Um, got the shade Diva. This was like a bubblegum hot pink color. I didn't really like that color. Had the pop socket in here. And then we had this purple ammunition color. Popsicle dream, purple color. And then we had scandal, which is more of like a mauvey color. Mauvey purple. Can you see that? So, in my opinion, I think the $75 box was much better. I mean, you get the t-shirt, you get lipsticks. I don't know, I just like that one better. Um, then I did the premium box. I only like one thing in the premium box. So that's why I was doing a giveaway for that. But the deluxe box, the deluxe box, that did good. So it was definitely worth spending the 35 extra dollars to get the bigger box with more products in it. I will say that it would have been nice to have, you know, I don't, I mean, I, I know an eyeshadow palette would have bumped up the price, but an eyeshadow palette would have been nice. Um, a lip scrub would have been nice, but I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, don't come for me. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below. Please like, thumbs up, subscribe. And don't forget to enter for my premium box giveaway. I will leave a link in the description box for that video. I'm going to pick a winner on Tuesday. So anyways, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.